This story comes to us from WCVB.com. Going to Massachusetts. Now, this one's a little old. This is an, an old story, probably about a month. Uh, but I'm behind. I've got a list of over 26, 27 stories to do, and I'm just trying to give them to you as quick as I can without flooding you every day. But, yeah, I've got a lot. So I'm kind of behind, so forgive me if you hear one that's a little older. You go, that's kind of an old story. I'm kind of behind. Not too far. This is a month old. We need to do better. The organizers of the Boston Marathon said in a statement after meeting with two groups that complained about how they were treated by police along the race route. Now, the controversy centers on an energetic gathering of spectators along Commonwealth Avenue near Heartbreak Hill and the way police responded. Heartbreak Hill, isn't that close to where Clint Eastwood shot his uh, AK-47 at Heartbreak Ridge? The um, Elise Lash with the Pioneers Run Crew said, they definitely made us feel like we don't belong there, that we're not welcome there, even though we've been there for five years. Now, when I give you this one, see if you, you know, kind of agree with their decision here. The BAA, along with the Newton Police Department, said they received three separate complaints about spectators crossing onto the race course impeding runners. Police said they asked the fans to stay off the course, and when spectators continued to cross the rope, they calmly used bicycles for a short period to demarcate the course and keep both the runners and the spectators safe. In the video Mike Remy posted on his YouTube channel, he says Newton police officers can be seen lined up with their bicycles between a group of Boston Marathon spectators and runners at mile 21 along Commonwealth Avenue. I don't even know what the presence is all about. Mike Remy believed the group he was in was being over policed because of their appearance. We cheering too loud? We supporting our friends too much? The house was shaking from the music. It seems really curious that he would come bring this presence here, but not equally throughout the course. The police were here half a dozen times. It wasn't just once. Uh, there was motorcycle police. Uh, there was patrol cars. Um, several times they spoke to them, asking them to lower the volume. In Newton, Robert Goulston for your local station, Boston 25 News. But Lash says her club runs alongside its members as encouragement. She said, I've done so at the same spot for the past five years with no complaints. <clears throat> Jack Fleming, president and CEO of the Boston Athletic Association, that's the BAA, said in the statement that the BAA met with members of the Pioneers Run Crew and Trailblaze Hers Run Company on Wednesday night. Not trailblazers, but trailblaze hers. I guess it's a female running group or something, right? But um, Fleming, Jack Fleming, the president and CEO, says they expressed to us their deep concerns that they were not given the chance to enjoy the day and celebrate their friends, families, and all participants as they approached Heartbreak Hill. That is on us. It is our job, and we need to do better to create an environment that is welcoming and supportive of the communities at the marathon. And somehow they put in parentheses here, the black, indigenous, and people of color. So that makes me think that maybe they, these were um, people of color and they're feeling targeted because he points it out here. Um, what they couldn't, they were not supposed to enjoy your day, right? That's why they call it Heartbreak Hill. I don't know, am I wrong? A representative of both running groups declined to comment on Thursday, but civil rights advocates are calling for a dialogue with the Newton police. So I guess it sounds like we are talking about people of color. Uh, Tashina Davis of Lawyers for Civil Rights said the tactics and aggressive nature of their response is overwhelming. It was racially motivated. and We'd like to speak to them and see how we can do better in the future. In a statement, Newton Mayor Ruth Ann Fuller said the Newton Police Department was notified three times by the BAA about spectators who were traversing the rope barrier and impeding runners, and that police responded respectfully and repeatedly asked spectators to stay behind the rope, not encroach onto the course. But according to Fuller, Newton 
police and additional officers commonly use bicycles for a period for demarcation uh, for the course when spectators continue to cross the road. The mayor said, we know this was very upsetting for these spectators. We have heard their deep concerns. <clears throat> Westwood Police Chief Jeffrey Silva, he's the president of the Metropolitan Law Enforcement Council, said in a statement that Metro LEC officers were dispatched after several complaints were received about spectators who were accused of impeding runners in large groups and not staying off the Boston Marathon course, obstructing the hydration station, and ignoring the course barriers established by the BAA. Well, of course they were obstructing the hydration station. They were thirsty. This is quite a lengthy story. Um, I don't want to read it all to you like that. I, I know it's probably going to get boring. But basically, they, they quote... Um, well, they, they, they give you different quotes and they talk more about it if you want to read it in the description box below. The bottom line here is this group says for five years we've been going to the Boston Marathon. We've been going under the ropes and running and, and encouraging our group. But there's complaints this year that they were impeding runners, that they were obstructing the path, that they were on encroaching onto the uh, marathon track. And I don't know. I don't know who do you believe? Who do you believe? The police department, the Boston Athletics Association, or the group that has been there for five years? How's the Boston Marathon? It's been there for years.